What is up, guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerdcastle for the next episode of Don't Star Shipwrecked. My name is Splattercat. Really happy to have you here today as we hang out for a little while and play one of my favorite games, Don't Starve. In the last episode, we were recovering from a couple of foibles that had taken place under our watch, or under my watch, I guess. I'll take full responsibility for it. I'm not going to blame you as the viewer. Still, we're recovering, we're coming back, and honestly, this entire game is kind of about managing little tasks and knowing what you should be working on to get towards bigger tasks and achievements. So at the moment, we need to rebuild our fleet. Our boats are looking... Our boats are looking a little sketchy. It's either that or we come up with a way to fix the boat that we currently have. If we fix the boat that we currently have, I will absolutely admit that that's probably a decent idea. And in fact, we can take a look. I think I need two bee stingers in order to do that, though. And so that puts us firmly. I don't think I have two bee stingers. I think I have one bee stinger. So that option out the window. Do I still have... Do I have a hammer anywhere, though? If I have a hammer... I may have a workable plan. If we salvage this guy over here, I think we'll get a decent amount of parts out of him. And then... Eh, I thought I heard dogs. Thought I heard dogs for a minute. But I'm thinking maybe it was just my brain playing tricks on me. Dogs still remain like one of the worst things that can happen to you in this game, which is actually kind of impressive considering they were one of the first threats the developers ever put in the game were the dogs that attack you every 10 days. And then they added the fire dogs and they had the ice dogs and then they had like all the different kinds. They are still like the number one thing that kills me in this game. Like you get attacked by dogs at a time where you don't have armor ready or you just yourself are not ready and that can spell definite night night time for your character. It can be bad. I'm going to put, so we got armor in there. I'll probably keep this, I don't know. Like, keep this as my shenanigans drawer, I guess. I I never know what to do with all this stuff. I really sincerely don't. And so I'll probably put magical objects and other random little things in here. We did need more gold so that we can make another doodad. I think that was for the ice fling matic which I should probably jump on next. That was a task that I was working towards, and it feels to me a bit like folly or stupidity to not keep working on like one task at a time which I firmly believe is the secret to this game like one task at a time being able to order in your head what should be going on at any given moment is a big part of playing this game and honestly I'm pretty addle brain which is one of the reasons why I don't tend to do very well at it I don't think I'll probably put a little bit of the niter over there nitra whatever we may need to make endothermic fires soon I don't think you can make endothermic chimneys but once the hot season gets here, I don't think we're going to have to worry about it anyways. So the endothermic fire is going to make it so that we can actually stay cool. That was another reason why I really need to go down to the biome that's to the bottom right of us and get some more paper. I need some more reeds so that I can make myself the floral pattern shirt, which will keep us cool for a little while. If I could get enough materials to make two of them so that I could get one, put it in the fridge, and then make the other one and just wear it, that would also be absolutely fantastic. We're due for a dog attack very, very soon. On day 40-ish or 45-ish. I don't know how we're going to deal with that just yet. Because my abilities and you know my weaponry is not that good just yet. I should probably set up some booby traps and things of that nature. Like the little the fang traps or whatever. Just to help out a little bit. But I've never been good at that aspect of the game. So unfortunately, you'll have to forgive me. But it's not something that I'm experienced with dealing with the dogs. That's going to be something you probably want to ask somebody else how they deal with it. In the nautical menu, I need to make some more sails, which means that I need that right there. How many sails can I make with the materials that I have? Let's make a couple. Oh, I didn't have enough ropes. Okay, well, we'll just throw that in there for right now then. I need another sail because we just broke down our ship. I probably should have taken the sail off of it before I broke it down, but I didn't really think about it. It only had like 2% left on it anyway, so it sort of seemed like a waste to me. Fire, are you going to go out? Please don't go out. I'd rather you make it till morning. Oh, cut that one so close. You can tell from the light radius. Look at the light radius. When the light radius reaches the center and touches the fire, that's when it goes out. Use that as like your mental timer when you're trying to figure out whether or not you're going to have enough time to make it till morning. We got another pirate bird over there. These trees are regrowing. Now would be the time that you and I would want to make a new boat. So I don't want to use too many materials for the armored boat. It's going to take six planks. We have all the other stuff, though. That is an expenditure that I'm not sure that I can swing right now. 
That only leaves me with four logs, which is kind of close to my internal danger zone for the amount of wood that I like to carry around with me. We do have some other stuff available, so I think we'll probably be okay. I don't know. Armored boat takes three ropes. Well, we've got the supplies for that, too. So let's get ropey. You guys ever watch Kevin, Kevin Smith's stand-up? It's not really even stand-up. It's sort of stand-up in a way, but it's more just kind of him hanging out, talking about his life. I enjoy it a lot. It's entertaining. If you've never watched it, I don't know if you're a Kevin Smith fan, fan though, either. Some people seem to really, really, really dislike him for one reason or another. I really like Kevin Smith. I think he's hilarious. I like his films in general. I think I've only seen one or two of his films that I was, like, lukewarm about. But Clerks is, like, the story of my life. Like, Clerks is pretty much a doc... I, I would call it a doctor... It's, it's a documentary about my, like, 16 to 20 years old self. Like, it, it's pretty much the way I spent, like, six years of my life. And so, anyways... It's a big deal to me, and I like it. We don't have enough seeds right now to fiddle around with any of that stuff. I'll probably eat the meatballs right now. That'll get us a little bit closer. Throw those in there. We got six seeds in the fridge. That's perfectly fine. The next thing that I need to accomplish is we've got the sail already done. Where did the sail go? Where did my sail go? Did I put it in one of these chests? There it is. This thing is definitely going to need a sail on it. The armored boat is a little bit slower, but it's also really, really nice to have, so... Put that right there. I'd actually probably like to put a lantern on it, too. That's going to require us to catch some fly. You see it has 500 HP, which is actually a considerable amount for a boat. This is going to be one of the first ones that's really, really worth it to repair because the amount of supplies it takes to actually rebuild it is a pain in the ass. And you're saving a whole lot of seashells if you just use a boat repair kit on it. How are we doing on berries over here? Oh, that one. Oh, no. Well, that's not good. Hmm. How do I want to deal with this issue? That's bothersome. If you don't know what this is, those little eyeballs attack you and they grow out of the center thing right here. It can be dangerous. I mean, it's not that bad. Fighting it hurts your sanity a lot more than anything else. But they can kind of be a pain in the ass to deal with, so I tend to... I tend to dislike dealing with them. Let me see if I can get rid of it right now. It can also be a decent defense for dogs, though, too. Like, if you can space these out properly, you can put them around your base so that they don't bother you. But at the same time, anything trying to get through will get attacked by them. Yeah, I think I only need to hit each one, like, once. Yeah, but they do strike back, so be very careful. And then this one right here, I should be able to get rid of. There we go. And that'll get rid of all of them. And then we got leafy meat. I forget what we use leafy meat for, but leafy meat has a function. And I can't recall what it is. It has a function in don't starve. Oh, really? It's going to rain? Oh, that's a little unfortunate. Okay, I wasn't ready for like a rainy season, but I guess it'll do. It's... Not what I wanted to deal with right now. Do I have any hats or anything that could help with this? I got a raincoat. That'll do it. Got myself a raincoat. Alright. Well, let's stoke up a little flame here for a second. Let me take a look at the land that's outlying here. As opposed to being out telling the truth. Looks like we're going to have a flood zone right there. That'll be enjoyable to deal with. But aside from that, things are not actually so dire. I think we can make this island function long term as like a survival habitat. I actually, I think we got to do the wet season first, and then after the wet season, we get volcano season. I think. Ooh, we got a wet zone over here too. Sandbagging might be necessary. The problem with sandbagging is that the sandbags break down. That's something that I actually don't agree with. I think the sandbags should be perfectly fine for at least like a year before they break down. I've got sandbags in my back patio right now that I've had for about two years. And the bags are only just now starting to rip and break from just like sunlight and exposure. And honestly, they probably would have lasted a lot longer if I'd thrown them inside any location. I think you can do something with this, but I don't think it hurts you. Yeah, I think it's actually pretty good for you. We'll probably hang out by the fire for right now. We've got crops coming in really, really soon. I would like to rush things out, but... Let me figure out a location where I can get a decent amount of sand from. That sandbar right there. That sandbar right there are probably good calls. 
We got plenty of bamboo on the island, so this might be a time where it would be wise for us to grab this and just start harvesting some of our bamboo because it takes a really, really absurd quantity of bamboo. And I don't mean absurd like in a negative bitching about the game sort of way. It just takes a lot. I'm saying it's so much that it's actually like a task you have to work on. And if you don't work on it, you're not going to be able to sandbag in time. I hate to tell you. Now, when these stand in the sun, you're going to end up with mosquitoes. Mosquitoes are gnarly. They're a pain in the ass. They're not fun to deal with at all. And so we're going to have to deal up a couple of the venom sacks. I don't have a super obvious supply of venom sacks. Aside from the little farty gassy things to the island of the southeast, if we go pick up the farty gassy things, obviously I think our game is going to suffer. We're going to be that stinky girl. And nobody wants to sit next to the stinky girl in class. So, you know, I, I think we're going to have to take tit for tat here. We're going to have to take our knocks. But if we can get our hands on some of those venom glands, we'll be a lot more resilient to mosquitoes because they envenom you every single time they bite you. And it's a giant pain in the ass, so... I would prefer to have that handled before anything else. We're going to stand next to the fire for a little bit, try and keep our sanity ticking on up. The days are indeed getting longer, so we'll have to keep an eye on that as well. One task at a time, though. One task at a time. Looks like we're holding tight on this side. I may have picked the petals prematurely. We can also make a suit of armor that would make us... I think we can make... What armor is it? There's an armor that makes us immune to poison, and I'll know when I see it. I think... It's in the apparel menu somewhere. I'll know it when I see it. I'll know it when I see it. But... Might be the gas mask, but there's another one in here somewhere. It's like the coral armor or something like that. Like, you can make, like, a coral suit. Maybe it's in the combat menu, and that's why I'm not seeing it. There's limestone right there. Poison spear gun would be pretty off the chain, too. That would be totally acceptable, as far as I'm concerned. For right now, though, let me grab another one of my doodads in here. In keeping with our goal of one thing at a time, it looks like it's going to piss down for a while. So it's probably not a good idea to be on the ocean anyways. I'm thinking I still have stone on me, so let me get one more stone taken care of. Got that right there. Inside the ice box, we're going to have our ice. I guess that don't want to go in there. We need science. And so for the Ice Fling Omatic. I need gears. I forgot about the gears. Okay. I got plenty of those, though. I got more gears than I know what to do with right now. I got, like, loads and loads and loads of gears. I knew I was missing something, but I couldn't recall what. All right. So the Ice Fling Omatic. This is pretty much... I'd like to get it centered a little bit better. It's a little bit of a bummer. So it looks like right there is going to be about as close as I can get it. It's either that or I can protect the other side. I don't know which of these ideas I like best. I mean, I suppose the obvious place for it would be in between these chests, but it looks like not even that... Oh, well. That's good. That'll work right there. Put it in. Cool. Huh. Does it have fuel? I'm wondering if that's like its little fuel thing right there and I've got to keep it fueled. Oh, we need stuff to burn today. We need stuff to burn very, very badly. We need to work on our sick burns here. I do not have the inventory space, however, to make that happen. So let's peruse first what we can make happen here. Got an axe. Gonna need to chop some trees. Not gonna have much of a choice there. 
May have to let it go. It looks like, actually, my issue with the frame rate is catching up with me, too. I may need to restart the game soon, so there might be, like, a random cut in here, and it's not because I, like, almost died and quit the game or anything like that. It's just because shit's gotta get done when shit's gotta get done. I'm gonna chop wood for a little bit. I should probably put the gears back in a chest, too, but I'm gonna focus on getting this done for right now. We're not gonna get a ton of loot out of this because these aren't completely mature yet. But if I wait any longer, we're not going to have any firewood for tonight. And I'm going to be burning, like, other random resources. And I would prefer to avoid that. Looks like our sanity's taking a pretty hard hit right now. That arrow is looking a tad larger than I like it to look, but... I don't know. Maybe we can pull this out. I think it's going to be a lot worse once nightfall gets here. I think that's going to be the nightfall. Ow! Okay, pick up all this stuff as fast as you can. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. It's unfortunate that we lost a tree harvest like that. It's really, really unfortunate. On the plus side, that gives us charcoal, though. And charcoal can be useful for keeping your fire running. It also killed a couple of things, so we got a morsel in there, too. Which means that we can make ourselves another set of meatballs. Go ahead and wipe out a couple of these real quick. Oh, dogs are coming. I didn't hear him. Shit. I need my armor. Alright, put that right there. Let's get the fire going for tonight. We've got our armor on. Let's get our wetness taken care of real fast. Once the wetness is done, we'll deal with fighting these things. I don't know how many we're going to be up against. But we've got to sort it out one by one. Do I have any monster meat in here? I do not. Okay, so I'm going to go all in on this one right here in a attempt to kill them as they come. It's because once they lump up, that's when it gets really dangerous. So if you can actually just keep whacking away at them as they spawn, like, yeah, your armor is going to take damage. But I find that I tend to fare a little bit better. If I do it like that. So is that it? We're done right there? Okay, fantastic. Perfect. That dog attack went, like, exactly the way I saw it in my head, which is great. I need to plant some trees, so I'm going to do that real fast. Sanity is going to take a little bit of a hit, unfortunately. It is raining, so we might have an okay chance... Especially if I equip that little guy right there, we might be even better off. But for right now, let me get all this meat picked up before it rots. I don't want to waste it. We got another houndstooth right there, which is pretty sweet. Might be able to make a houndstooth trap. That'd be funsies. Let me... I'm going to cook up... You know, I don't have a lot of sticks. But the perfect way to recover from this situation would be a pie. And so I'm going to get a dragon pie going. Once the dragon pie is all nice and done... I'm going to make a run down to that southeast island. Once the southeast island run is finished, from there we'll come back up here after having our new venom glands and whatnot. And from there I figure we will... Uh, losing track of what I want to work on right now. Losing track. i got to come up with like some kind of plan. i got to come up with a game plan. Starting to get, not like flustered, but definitely kind of a little like I don't know what I want to work on basically. Grab the lighter real fast. I'm going to grab this morsel before we do anything else, too. Use this charcoal to stoke the flames of my ire. I.e. the flames of my fire minus an F. Doing a little bit of combustion-related algebra right there. We got ourselves a dragon pie. That's going straight into my mouth. So there it is. Perfect. That'll help us get sorted out. Stand by the fire for the rest of the night. The rain looks like it's subsiding. And so I think we should be able to get out of the way of that without anything else going wrong. For right now, I'm thinking I'm going to have to reset my game. Things are its doing that choppy thing again. So I'm going to go ahead and harvest our crops. I'm going to reset my game, and I'll come back with the next episode tomorrow. My name is Splattercat. Thank you so much for stopping on by the Nerd Castle to hang out with me for a little while and add a little bit of sunshine to my day. Even though it is otherwise rainy inside of our playthrough, I do appreciate all of my viewers who take the time out of their day to stop on by and spend time with me. I do read your comments. I go down below. I just don't respond very much. But anyways, I also batch record, so it means sometimes if you give me advice, I may not be able to put it into effect instantaneously. That said, I'll see y'all tomorrow. How do you do, everybody?